Hello dear helicopter sim guys. Since over two years now I'm around helicopter forums and there's a lot of discussion going on about joysticks. Is this one good enough? Can you fly a helicopter with that one? Is only one joystick enough for that? I won't enter those discussions. Following that comes is what I've learned over time and of course it's up to everybody to do what and how he wants to. This is just my experience which I'd like to share with you. Over at least four years ago I bought something. The Warthog Hotas, the Track IR5 and the Cytec Pro pedals. Past two years now I came to explain. And it was the simulation where the flying part after DCS Black Shark made me sweat. Just before I explain I was busy with MS Flight Simulator 10. I could do whatever I wanted after 15 minutes with the Bell 206. But under explain I was in desperate state. It couldn't be true as hard as it was. As I always set the most difficulty settings and asked around forums if it was normal, I tried a few different things. I first needed a few months to finally understand that flying a helicopter with a short stick wasn't realistic and changing the difficulty settings like stabilizers or so wasn't acceptable to me. It was time to lengthen the stick. After some DIY work I came to a result. The lengthen stick was finished. And I was proud of, look at that, beautiful isn't it? Ok, X-Plane launched, give a go with the Langston Warthog stick. After 5 minutes I had the impression to stir around with big movements. Damn, there is something wrong, that can't be. I searched YouTube for in-cockpit videos and found some. The pilot moves the stick very little, where I had to spread my legs instead, very unrealistic. To lengthen the stick is one thing, but as there is no angle stop and the stick being very much lengthened involves that the movements are way larger, the more they are away from the base. Here a picture. On the short stick, distance A is ok. Now lengthen the stick. You will have to move way more to get the angle stop at the base. The distance B is therefore just unrealistic. So distance C would be optimal. But there is a problem coming. With software you can change or adapt to get the distance covered, meaning limiting the movement entries from the joystick to that distance C. That solution is buggy, as it provokes loss of data. Why? The distance A went from, let's say, minus 100 up to 100, that means the whole data spectrum is covered. Limiting now the data spectrum down to distance C and the whole distance A won't be covered anymore. Therefore we now only cover a tiny part of the whole data spectrum let's say from minus 20 up to 20. So there is an 80% amount of data missing. Now I've tried it and it works of course, but it lacks on sensitivity and it's therefore absolutely not ideal to fly with. Now if my explanation weren't clear enough, here a video with the short stick you see, I put it as far as it goes, you know that. Now with the lengthen one and push to the angle stop as you can see. It's just unrealistic. And as said, restraining the data curves isn't optimal as it's suffering from data loss. So, and after a long search and thinking about, I came to the conclusion that I needed to get a helicopter stick. Now, before I come to it, I had the chance to fly a real R22. The hours I passed on the X-plane with the short or the lengthened stick weren't lost at all, as after 45 minutes of flying the R22 I managed to hover with it. You can imagine I was very very proud being able to achieve that. Now I could say I was able to compare a sim with reality. And the answer is simple, there is nothing to compare against each other. Real flying is easier, as you feel everything back from the shopper, as you can react way better with it. But at the other hand, simulation isn't to be underestimated, as it brings you knowledge about how it works and gives you some reflexes. Theory and praxis, they are different but both complementary each other. So now back to our helicopter stick, after that short introduction. The price, well it remains for some like it's for me a heavy price, but take in consideration that it's not fabricated automatically, it's handmade. Would the demand be extreme high, then the parts would cost I guess 50% less as it would be sold on marketplaces, but we little helicopter simulator community have to live with that. So why the SeaTech Cyclic? First, because it has whole effect sensors, therefore minimal, even no wear of electronic parts, I leave you google that. Then the mechanical build. Easy, everything is adjustable and the thing which is mostly missing today is 
it's a robust design and maybe even too robust but it's better than the other way around so you have for that much money a serious piece of good build controller imagine yourself it would have been plastic the guy who's playing with the wild Hotas will understand that he might never come back to a cheap plastic made joystick never ever so for its quality i give out a 10 or 10 also very good point is that there is no gear, no bell that could introduce some dead zones. On any very little input it reacts immediately, so no dead zones at all, very important. The grip is okay, there are also different other models, but that wasn't too important to me. But the material it's made of is very good. There is nothing to say against, may it be plastic or something else, it feels well in your hand and the buttons I've chosen are enough for my flying. Pose track IR reset and trim and still a hat undefined. What can I say more about? You can also change the resistance of it by turning on those knobs here. And as you can see you even can change its height. That's it already. It's sadly not for every wallet but who's gonna invest this sum into this won't regret it. It's just a step closer to helicopter flying and is however way much better than any other standard joystick. Short or length doesn't matter what, I've tried it enough to know about. I hope my explanation were good enough and as it's not my job to explain or present things like that, others can do it way better than me, but as I couldn't find any review about and put a lot of time in research, I thought it might help someone who's into it too. So you did it, you listened to me up to the end, thanks for that, hope you enjoyed, see ya.